hello friends welcome to my channel electrical master this video we are going to see about what is ups and how it is working and what are the types of ups let's go to the video What is UPS? We know UPS means uninterruptible power supply. See this picture. This is the sample picture of UPS. This is the, the front side of the UPS panel and this is the back side. And here this is the output of the UPS panel and this is the input connections. So this is the sample view of UPS. So come to the point. UPS is used for the backup power when the power failure conditions will happen. Some equipment we know it's needed continuous power supply like computers, some medical equipment and even a data server, internet data server, it's required continuous power supply. So this sensitive equipment we are connected through the UPS. So whenever the power failures happen, UPS will give the continuous power to the that uh, uh, emergency equipment will having for the safer to shut down of the systems. Uh, now we come to the picture why don't we use the generator some emergency generator also we can use but the problem is whenever the power supply is off the generator will sense the power supply failure and it will start the generator and it will give to the backup of the load but it will take some uh, time to the start the generator and connect it to the load during that time we have to loss our power supply so the loads emergency loads will be cut off that is the main issue we are not using generator as a backup power so generator always used for the emergency power but upss we can say it is used for the backup power even main power supply is failure also we can run certain amount of time like one hour or half an hour depend on the load we can uh, carry that load safely transfer to the generator power supply okay and moreover the ups also used for the avoid the voltage surges and it is also give the constant output voltage to the system if suppose some sensitive equipment the voltage range should be in 240 volt means in normal main power supply the voltage there will be variation like 10 percent is 250 or below 230 like that will come it will affect that performance of the equipment for avoiding that if you connect through the ups if yes, inside there is a having voltage regulator, it's always regulate the voltage as a desired value. Like 230 volt means it will only give the 230 volt. Similarly, uh, if you, if you put a 240 volt, you will get it 240 volt. Now we will see how UPS is working. See this is picture. This is the main power supply. It's connected to the UPS. If you see the here, this is this whole rectangle box. It's called a UPS. UPS inside there is having rectifier unit and inverter unit and we know what is rectifier rectifier means it convert ac supply into dc supply the main power supply is utility it will be ac it will connect it to the rectifier so it converted ac supply into dc then the dc supply will save into the battery then further directly that uh, ac supply connected to a uh, dc supply is connected to the inverter inverter means it convert DC into AC. So again that the DC supply will convert here into AC. So that AC supply will connect it to the our connecting load. Some emergency load we can say like computers, some medical equipment, even CCTV cameras, like that n numbers of equipment you can connect it here. So the, in this way the UPS is working. There are two types of UPS are available. One is online UPS, another one is offline UPS. Then we will see what is offline UPS, what is online UPS. See here, this is offline UPS. Offline UPS means it's only uh, come to the picture is when the power, power supply is failure. It means our whatever the load uh, we have, it is directly connected to our main supply only. So when the main supply is failure or power cut, at the time only that UPS will be activated. You can see this is the black diagram of offline UPS. Normally power supply is connected from main supply to the load like this in this way 
and the same time main supply is connected to the charger charger is nothing but a rectifier so rectifier unit convert ac into dc the dc voltage is connected to the battery this is the battery bank will get charged and battery bank further it's connected to the inverter unit so the inverter unit convert dc battery supply into the ac so the ac supply will be connected to the load any emergency uh, any power failure condition this here we are we are keeping the some transfer switches this transfer switch automatically will transfer from main supply to the load while the power supply is failure in this way you can see here this way it will connect so this is offline ups if you see the advantages of uh, offline ups is battery efficiency and the lifetime is increases because the battery and uh, uh, this uh, ups always in off mode whenever the power failure is happened that only then time only the it is come to the action it means you can save battery efficiency and also this inverter and also cost is low disadvantages disadvantages uh, there is power interruption during the change over it means uh, at normal condition there is no problem the main supply is connected to the load so when the power failure is happened it's uh, the transfer switch change the load from main supply to the ups supply that time there will be small interruption will be there like about 5 to 10 second that interruption will be there we have to lose the power that's why this type of ups it's called a offline ups then second one is online ups online ups means this type of ups ups is always on and there is no interruption while the power change over you can see this black diagram main supply is connected to the rectifier unit and rectifier unit is connected to rectifier will convert the ac supply into dc the dc is connected to the battery and battery is further it's connected to the inverter unit and the inverter will convert dc into ac and it is connected to the load so here that uh, whole ups system is always in the on condition because main supply is connected through the ups unit only then ups unit connected to the load so it is uh, in this way and this online ups is working and it is also prevent the surge power and provide the regulated voltage to the load for example this online ups you can say our computer small ups system also online ups and industrial if you see dcs scada unit and control power supply unit all this connected with this online ups because whenever the emergency time happen without the interruption that the control supply is always uh, should be on then only they can easily um, safer shut down of the emergency system so they are using that online ups if you see the disadvantages of online ups if your uh, battery always on so life efficiency will reduce so here the load always connected through the ups so the battery and the ups system always on so what will happen continuously charging discharging it means battery efficiency will getting down and the lifetime also will be reduced and it is producing heat it so it required to maintain the ac power supply it means the ups is continuously on so it producing uh, heat it heat, gener heat is generated here so we need to always uh, ac power supply that air conditioner should be always keep to maintain the room temperature 20 to 25 then only our ups will be performed efficiently and third is this type of ups the cost is very high compared to the offline ups so this is the online and offline ups and the ups total functions i hope you will be clear if you have any doubt just comment me i will uh, give the reply through your comment and thank you so much for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video to your friends thank you